guys welcome back this is archana here and today i'm going to show you very simple and easy mixed media tag so i have this uh, hard cardboard so on this i will show you uh, how you can create very simple tag using simple techniques so for that uh, uh, to create texture uh, here so i am taking this uh, mix ground texture paste ice and snow so what i will do i will first just you know spread this texture paste onto the tag so for that uh, let me choose my stencil okay so i'll go with this stencil so it's also from expression craft and uh, Emix is also part of expression stuff so if you guys don't know them okay so let me take out this and i'll arrange this stencil here mm, maybe like this okay and uh, with uh, palette knife i'll just uh, spread this texture paste look at this this is very creamy uh, texture paste and it also has a little bit of graininess into it not much very little amount of graininess so just spread it onto the tag Uh, this is how it looks uh, this ice and snow uh, texture paste so if you don't want to go for heavy uh, texture then you can you know go for this uh, ice and snow ground texture paste so i hope i am able to show you the consistency and how very tiny little granules are there okay so i'll just move ahead and i'll show you another uh, ground texture paste okay so now let's say i'll take this white sand okay i'll take another tag here and uh, okay so see this is how this white sand looks like okay so i will grab another stencil let's go for this one and expressions craft have amazing range of stencils guys so do check uh, check it out on their website okay now again take the palette knife and i'm just lay down your stencil i'll keep this stencil like this and just take a little amount of ground texture paste on knife and spread it evenly so you can uh, feel the you know graininess into it so i just want to see if you know this texture uh, goes out from the intricate design or not so so i am also experimenting with you guys just you know show i show you and at the same time i am experimenting as well Wow, 
look at these guys it does you know uh, what a second it does go through all the intricate design just to remove the excess so look at this can you see so it also has very uh, little amount of shine into it so this is how the which one is this this is how the ground texture paste white sand looks like so on to the another pack i'll spread another uh, texture paste so i'm just keep this thing aside yeah another stencil from expressions craft okay now what i will do i'll just uh, uh, use this part because later i'll just make some composition over here okay so this time uh, i'll go with this texture gel medium uh, glass beads so let's see how it will look okay instead of this what i'm thinking i'll go with this natural desert because it will look nice with uh, you know uh, this kind of stencil so texture gel medium i'll use onto the another tag okay let's look at this so this is how the consistency looks like Just a little amount of texture paste again. Look at this. Just look at the look at the graininess and. Uh, color so this is how this natural desert looks like okay now we will move ahead and do another uh, ground texture paste on tag okay okay let's go with this uh, glass bit texture gel medium okay so this is what i have thought to uh, try before it doesn't go away okay uh, let me grab my another stencil up Okay, so I'm thinking to go with this same stencil. so it doesn't come out the way i want it to be but though i'm happy so here just it got smudge little bit but uh, that's okay we can you know cover that uh, later so this is how the glass bit texture medium looks like so when it dries it will uh, dry clear so here i have some swatches so like this uh, one second so like this the clear uh, look we get okay so i'm i'll just wait for 
uh, this to get dry and let it dry naturally so that you know the effect will will be good might be uh, i haven't uh, tried that but uh, uh, the first one when i tried uh, swatches uh, did swatches of this that time i just let it dry naturally okay and now i'll try this one black granite okay I haven't decided yet like what I will you know do on these tags but uh, right now I'm just uh, trying all this new paste so you know uh, sometime it happens like whenever you start making uh, that time you will get idea like what thing will go nice on this so look at this so this is how this uh, black granite looks like look how thick granulars are and lastly i have this uh, mud brown uh, texture paste so let's try out this one as well okay. and here I will use this uh, this uh, stencil so as you can see uh, expressions craft have amazing range of stencil and very good quality stencil uh, quite thick enough to you know have uh, that level of uh, texture uh, on your project okay. actually i have uh, no experience you know like uh, create while talking or uh, like i mean to say talk while creating so just uh bear with me guys and excuse me if you know uh, sometimes i uh, stop in the middle of talking so <laughs> uh, i'm just trying so just bear with me okay okay so now i'll take this texture paste so again look at the granules and I'm thinking should I go I mean should I use this stencil or should I go with another stencil because see the th granule uh, thickness is quite much and I don't know if it will go through this uh, space or not so let's try we will try okay so just take enough amount of paste okay i think it will go because this uh, i thought it will be uh, rough to you know uh, apply but it is very smooth this uh, brown paste very uh, smooth to apply okay so i'm done see this paste are like there are a huge variety in this paste so uh, you can choose uh, to according to your taste which uh, texture paste you have to go uh, go for but uh, i will suggest you to you know have i mean try all this paste because every paste has a different um, texture in it so i'll just suggest you to go with all this paste okay so this is how the uh, mud brown looks like see can you see the one second okay come on okay so can you see the granules in this 
this is how it looks like now i'll uh, let this all these tags uh, dry and uh, then we will think like how to you know uh, form a composition on this i will do i'll show you uh, one tag uh, in this video and rest tag i will create another video for that otherwise this video will be uh, very long so okay so this uh, this texture paste is dried uh, dries completely sorry dried completely and this one is a natural desert okay so now uh, what i will do i'll just cover this a tag using white gesso first uh, i'm just uh, covering uh, like not completely just randomly For the focal point, I am thinking to add this uh, star. And for on this, I am gonna uh, use this uh, one, this chipboard. This one is also from uh, Expressions Craft. if you feel like that surface is not fully covered you can always you know uh, add second layer of gesso so i am covering this one as well with white gesso now i'll just let this dry completely and then we will stick this on onto this tag forming a, and also we'll you know uh, arrange some composition so that it will look nice so now i'll just add this one and before this uh, i'll add these cheese cloth pieces so this is also add very nice texture onto the uh, project also uh, you can add a thread as well so I'm just going to you know, uh, just tear it off little bit so that it will look And, and on top of this I'll add this star and this paste wishes so let's glue this so for that I'm using a uh, emix art medium so this one is also from expression so just stick a, so using brush I'm going to add this
so it will just help to hold everything nicely glue this star as well add little bit more uh, elements maybe these uh, clear stones thinking to add little bit of this uh, mica flakes just here and there so i need small pieces so using art medium i am going to stick this just a little bit Just dab it little bit and then okay, so yeah I'm happy with this okay so uh, when you're doing this just make sure to have uh, paper underneath so that you know you can collect the um, excess mica flakes so my tag is uh, like uh, almost dried so now i'll just color this and for this uh, i'm going to use this chroma burst so let's go with this cranberry case and uh, this ice plant okay and coral Reef. So I'll just use these three colors to color the tag. So just sprinkle this color first. Okay. don't want this here so I'll just move this color from this uh, brush okay so it's a bit wet okay and now I'll sprinkle water to activate these powders so look at this okay and next i'm going to use this ice plant maybe here a little bit and little bit here let's add it here as well so likewise you can color your tag
just tilt your tag to you know move the colors okay and coral reef okay now i'll use this coral reef I really like the effect here so I'll just let this thing uh, this uh, this part of the tag uh, as it is because see here uh, the texture is looking nice uh, because we have added this pigment so I'll just let this uh, this thing with the uh, white background because i feel it's uh, really complementing uh, this portion of the tag so let's just and we i mean i feel i don't need uh, highlighting as well here So likewise uh, you can create a uh, rest of the tag I, as you can see I haven't uh, colored this clear uh, what you call this thing pebble as well because uh, see my focal point it's this one so now I already have used bit bold colors so I haven't colored these glass pebbles. Just you can uh, uh, keep this uh, thread like thing like this, or else you can just trim it off. I like the way it's looking as of now, so I'm not going to trim it off. So yeah, this is how my tag looks like, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video and. Uh, do hit that like button and also uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will be back till then bye bye take care and happy crafting